Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Abby Gesund and this is a brand new episode for the high holidays, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. Whatever. The new Hebrew year 5781 is upon us. There's a health crisis. What are we going to do about Shul? My rabbi is a doctor and he signed a release form for me so I don't have to go to Shul. The first thing I'm going to do is ask for a refund for my membership because if I'm not going to the synagogue for the high holidays, I need that money back. Hello? I'm not paying for an empty seat. Just stay home. You can keep roasting that chicken. Oh, because you don't cook on Yantif. What are we going to do about Simanim this year? that plate with all the different fruits and vegetables and food that symbolize the coming year for us. Carrots, celery, eggs, kale, dates, triff. Hello, antibodies, be creative. I am tired of people telling me to be creative at this time. We're gonna blow the chauffeur through a mask. It doesn't work. My lipstick is all over it. When you say a Tashla this year and get rid of all your sins, take your mask off. Hello? If this is supposed to contain everything that comes out of my mouth, I don't want my sins to stick to me. Sins? That's such a Christian word. Where's the interesting stuff? Yom Kippur. You want to talk about atonement? It's still your fault. Well, it's Corona. Can we not fast this year? Ask the rabbi. Rabbi? Now the big danger about the face mask on Yom Kippur is that when you wake up in the morning and do not brush your teeth, and you fast all day, and you have a direct connection between your mouth and your nose, Good luck. Is there a procedure for bad breath? Does Botox cover that? I know these are very difficult circumstances this year, but take it from my makeup. Sometimes getting by is just fine. Bezrat Hashem, we should all be healthy. Shana Tova, a year of good luck. Good health. I'm half Sephardic. Zai gesund. And just you wait for Zuckus. If you're schwitzing, you shouldn't use a prayer book.